Last time on Pokemon X Randomized Nuzlocke, we caught a new Pokemon. Dialga appears, and we lost a crucial member of our team. What's up, Jigsaw Peace? And today, people are bringing episode number 13, lucky number 13, of our Pokemon X Randomized Nuzlocke. And before we get started, if you wouldn't mind just tapping that like button down below, because your support really does mean the world. Help me in helping the Jigsaw Pieces grow. Now, let's give you guys a quick party update. Kicking things off, we have Adam De Villier at level 25 gold back with Swift, Confused Ray, Wing Attack, and Bye. Next up, we have Mafu at level 26, Butterfree, the baby of the team, rocking Psybeam, Gust, Poison Powder, and Sleep Powder. Then we have Albert at level 27, Ariados, rocking Poison Sting, Shadow Sneak, Leech Life, and Night Shade. Then we have Helena at level 26, Deancey, with Smackdown, Rock Throw, Stealth Rock, and Tackle. Next up, we have Amadou as stand-in star at level 30 Gigalith. Rocking Headbutt, Rock Slide, Power Gem, and Mud Slap. And last but not least, we have Shirley at level 25 Snorlax. Just Shirley with Chip Away, Lick, Yawn, and Body Slam. Now, as you may notice, that our audio is quite different to what is coming out of my mouth on the video. Now that is because I have gone ahead and messed up my audio, which sucks so bad. So for the next, this episode, episode 14, episode 15, I've had to do voiceovers. Hang on. If you all don't mind, I'd like to have a Pokemon battle with everyone. Now, how should we pair up? Let's go with Tiano and Trevor against Jigsaw and me. Yes. Okay, Jigsaw, since we're neighbours, we might as well battle together, right? So we're battling Trevor and Tiano. So as I was saying, 13, 14 and 15 have all going to have voiceovers, which sucks so bad because there's some really natural reactions in those videos. And that's why I've kept the face cam in there, because at least you can see the face. That's a Mega Gengar, by the way. That's a Mega Gengar. Jesus Christ. But you can see the natural reactions still in my facial expressions. Unfortunately, you don't get the... WTF that goes along with it, but it, what am I going to do, man? There's only so much I can fix. There's only so much I can fix. If I hadn't of saved my game before realising the audio wasn't recorded, then I 100% would have done the complete episode again. All three episodes I would have completely done again. Because right now, now because of what's happened, I have to record, I've recorded the episode... Normally, I'd record an episode and edit it, and that'd be it. But I've recorded the episode, and I'm editing, and I've added it. This time around, on my return to YouTube, I've added more time into editing anyway. But then, I've got to do a voiceover recording of everything as well. So, it's kind of... It's very, 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 very frustrating, but... We're here, we're going to make do what we can do and try and get to the other end. Get to level episode 16, carry on, all well and good. So please guys, bear with me. Please, please, please bear with me. Now, we take out the Mega Gengar. Actually, I think Porygon 2 took out the Mega Gengar. Because for some reason, when you randomise the newer games, if you're in a double battle... It turns them into a free-for-all, which is nuts. Absolutely nuts. So everyone turns into a traitor. Because as you will see, other than me, other than me, every one of them. Look, see, see, Embort attacked me. He attacked me. Why did he attack me? Why did he attack me? Literally, you've got two opponents on the other side of the field. Why did you attack me? I don't understand. I'm not even a threat to Embor. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. But it is the way it is. And Haley is coming here. Just as I'm recording. I don't like that. But hey ho. 
So we switch out to Amadou because I'm like, uh, what do, what do? Fire type. I can, I'm a rock type. So if he wants to flame charge me, we're good. I think, did you get it or is she just struggling with the keys? I think she got in. Okay. So, it's kind of madness. I think, um, his Magus just attacked the Porygon 2. So he was like, payback. So they're fight, fighting each other. I want to just throw it out there. I don't, I don't turn on my own team members. I want to throw that out there. But I did realise that he used Arm Thrust and I was like, oh no, we need to get Amadou out of there. We need to get him out. We need to get him out. We need to get him out. Did take out the Miss Maggots. And then one thing we did start to notice is Trevor has all normal types. Tiano has all ghost types. And Serena has all fighting types. So it's kind of... I don't know why it's done that. And near enough every other battle is not like that. So I don't know why it did that. I don't know whether it's by pure luck, pure chance, but... That seems highly unlikely. Seems highly, highly unlikely, but hey ho. So we go out to Helena because I think. Right, we can't stay with Amadou because of Arm Thrust. We. Already had Adam in, he was already. He's starting to get hurt. Getting hurt. We couldn't go out to Mafu or Albert because of the Taylor. We couldn't go out to Shirley again because of the Arm Thrust. And I was like, okay, at least Helena. Can handle the Talo, can resist the fighting type moves. The only thing we've got to deal with is his pump kaboo. Once the pump once the pump pump kaboo is out the way, we should be okay to stay in with Helena. So we're like, right, let's get rid of the Talo. Because then that opens up options in terms of Mafu and Albert. Do that fine. Get rid of the Talo. I think he actually ended up circle frying it when I was like, oh alright. So he dodged that razor leaf, which means we take the full brunt of that razor leaf. Thank you very much. Our Smackdown does nothing. Nothing at all. And a sends out a cast form. A cast form that transforms from the rain cast form that he transformed from. Um, so we go for a... Rock slide, I think. No, we went for a stealth rock. We went for a stealth rock because we're in it for the long haul, and we know that each the way that also another way that these work, Tierno and Trevor both have six Pokemon. So even though it displays just six, there's actually twelve Pokemon because where we put all important trainers have six Pokemon. It, even in double battles, they have all have six Pokemon that they use. So it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. So we're like, ah, okay, Helena's taking some serious damage. So we go out to Albert now that the flying time's gone. We're like, right, Albert, you got this, buddy. You got this. The polygraph uses submission on the cast form. All happy days, thank you very much. Now... Gameplay music should be still working. I will double check before I finish up, although there's not a lot I can do about that. Other than maybe put some background noise all the way through. But, anyway. I think Helena wanted to learn Guard Split. I was like, no. No, 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 no. No, no. Polygraph was nearly gone. I was like, get the Polygraph out of here. And he held on. He held on. 2 HP, he held on, and he goes out to a star, to Mr. Trevor over there, it goes out to a Staravia, and I'm like, <sighs> technically another normal type, normal flying, but, what a pain in the arse that is, so, I think I actually decided, did I start, decide saying, I thought, I think my thought process was, I can take one of anything from the Staravia, I'm like, let me attack this pump kaboom, I don't can't remember if I went for a Shadow Snake or a Nightshade. Polyref goes down. We went for a Shadow Snake. I don't think it did much. No, it didn't do much at all. Did nothing actually. And the story of it just well winded me out. And I was like, alright. 
pull back into hell and I'm like, I mean, it's it's not great because the razor leaves hurt. The razor leaves do hurt, and it sucks. So I'm like, ah, uh, Serena sends out Scraggy, Scraggy, and I think I just heal up. If I'm not mistaken. Yes, I do. A super potion. So we hit up an HP just so we could take that the incoming laser leaf. And we were kind of hoping that Scraggy would like, you know, use some sort of dark type move against that Bunkaboo. Which he does indeed. He goes for that payback, which knocks the Pumpkaboo out. Frank gone for all our rock types. Or barring Serena herself. So, I believe, is it Cathagoras that comes out? Or is it, uh, is it Cathagoras? No, your mask, your mask, your mask, not Cathagoras. Went one step too far, one step beyond. Do, 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 do. If we go for the SmackDown on the Storavia, I'm like, right, let's get him up at. He wing attacks the Scraggy, knocking that thing out. That Scraggy did not last long whatsoever. And he dodged our SmackDown. We dodged the Willow Swifts. The whole point of that entire turn was just to take the Scraggy out. Next, she sends out a Pangoro, and I'm like, yes, Pangoro, dark fighting. Dark typing is what we need. Attack the Yamask. We land our smackdown. Goodbye, Storavia. I'm like, attack the Yamask. Please attack the Yamask. Albert grows to level 28. Wants to learn Sucker Punch. I think I do actually teach it to him. I think it was, I'm um, like, I think it's about time we get rid of the leech life. It's phase 20. Let's get it gone. Like Donkey Kong. And we learn Sucker Punch. Your mask goes ahead and will-o-wisps me. Thank you very much, your mask. Pain in the ass, more like. And Trevor sends out a Pidgeot. Well, Pidgeot, Pidgeotto. And I do an amazing impression of a Pidgeotto. And now it's gone. Actually, that one's too bad. But the first time I did it was so much better. So that sucks. That's lost forever. I'll cry myself to sleep tonight over that one. But this Pidgeotto uses Whirlwind as well. And I think he sends us out to Albert. Yes, 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 yes. The Pangoro goes for a circle throw, which actually knocks the Pidgeotto out. I wasn't expecting it to knock him out. It really wasn't. So Helena goes to some movie. And next up is a Happini. I was like, all right. All right. So, Mr. Happini, I'm like, right, cool, let's focus on the Yamask. So, I go for Sucker Punch on him. Get a nice chunk of damage. Turns my ability into Mummy. I'm like, I don't care about no Mummy. He nightshades the Pangoro. Happini sweet kisses us. It's not very sweet if you ask me when you're trying to confuse me. It's not nice, man. It's not nice. It's not nice. So, I'm kind of left, like, well, if I go for another Sucker Punch, or I can Shadow Snake the Mask. We are confused. We break through confusion. Go for that Shadow Snake. Look at me, I'm talking while drinking. <laughs> and he goes in down. He goes down. Helena goes to level 28. Happini uses Charm, I think, on the Pangoro. Yes, on the Pangoro. He goes for a circle throw, but misses. And then Tiano's next one is a Litwick. And I'm like, Ugh. if I get hit by a fire type move, I'm going to cry. So I try, I try and sucker punch the Litwick. And he wasn't going for an attack. He was going for a will o -Wisp. He will o -Wisp the Pangoro. Which kind of renders the Pangoro somewhat useless, I want to say. Somewhat useless. 
He's confused. He's burned. But the circle throw actually does a really decent amount. Even burned. If he didn't get burned, he would have took him out. 100%. 100% would have took him out. We go for, I think, Shadow Sneak? Yes, Shadow Sneak on the Litwick. I don't believe it does too much. No, it doesn't. And he goes for a Will O' Wisp on us. And I'm like, all right. Burn all the whole of my team. Screw it. Why not? Burn them all. Circle Throw does indeed take out the Happy Me. And I can't remember if Trevor has any more Pokemon left. Albert grows level 29. I don't think Trevor does. I could be mistaken, but I don't think he does. No, he doesn't. I'm like, cool. It's a two-on-one. I think he has... I think Tiano has two more Pokemon. This one and another one. He... Pangoro goes for Circle Throw on me. That's why his ability got changed to Mummy. And I'm like, what the hell? What the hell? Why would you go on me? Did he go for circle throw on me? I'm sure he went. He, he went for something on me. He attacked me. And I'm like, alright, let's just get rid of the Litwick. I was very tempted to attack the Pangora, I'm not gonna lie. But he we went for the Shadow Snake. Gobble Litwick. Up oot there. Up oot there. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. And he went for a comet punch on me. And I'm like, why are you attacking me? Stop attacking me. You traitor. I'm on your team. Stop attacking me. Next up is the Drifloon and I'm like, alright. I think I'm like, uh, switch out. I'm like, switch out because we're, we're in problems here. We go out to Mafu. Because I think, I'm thinking, right. Any fine type moves are not going to do much. We should be good. And he goes for a hex in which Pangoro circle throws me out. And I believe we go out to Adam. I'm like, alright, cool. Adam's cool. We can handle, we can we can be out here with Adam. That's not a problem. And I'm like, Paragor, let the Pangoro die. Let the Pangoro die. Die, Pangoro. At this point, I was very, very, very contemplating smacking the Pangoro up. I thought, no. So the Pangoro dies. I'm glad I didn't smack him up because it would have been a waste of turn. Because Drifling was faster than us. And he took out the Pangoro. So this way, I get a win-win. Both of them die. Because Serena seems to want to just attack me. Literally, you got one Pokemon to take out. But no, you attack me. I don't understand. We go for a bite on a Drifloom. He goes for a Hex on my Golbat. And oh my god, we live in one. Holy crap. How do we live in one? I don't understand. And he double slaps me. We lost Adam because he double slapped me. Serena attacked me. What is that about? I did swear there. I'm not going to lie. But I suppose that's one aspect of the edit I can now control a bit better. Because I... <sighs> I can't believe Serena attacked me. And took my Pokemon. She took my Pokemon from me. She All she had to do was attack that Drifloon. It would have been gone. But no. We lived on one and Serena attacked me. I don't understand. So we sidebeam the Drifloon. He goes for another Hex, I think, on yeah, me. It does a decent amount. I'm like, I swear, if this don't take him out and Serena attacks me again, I'm losing it. But no, it takes him out. Drifloon's gone. We are a member down. R.I.P. Adam. R.I.P. Adam. Whoa, that was a nice move. So you can't... Oh, alright. I was reading that, but... I... It sure is interesting to see how different each trainer's style is. Well, I guess we should head to Amberette Town then. I believe that... And I'm going nuts. I won't read that text. I was like, no, no, I'm not reading your text. You killed one of my Pokemon. I was on your team. So we're going to put him in the grave. In the gravy. It's a sad time. 
it's a sad time because we hadn't had Gobert long. It hadn't been long since we had Gobert. He was got taken from us too soon. It makes me very upset. So I'm just like, why, why did you, why did that need to happen to me? It didn't need to happen to me. Serena could have just attacked Tiano, and we would, we would have won as a team unscathed. But no, but no, had to attack me for some mad reason. Had to attack me. Do we take the arm off him? Put him in the grave. Makes me sad looking at the box. And we pull out our Teddy Urso. Once again. <laughs> Once again, Teddy Urso is on the team. And I've just realised that you got to understand that I'm editing this as we go, which is kind of weird, but Teddy Urso is in the complete wrong part of the screen. I am going to have to move him. <laughs> But it's like fine. It's fine. Put Teddy Osa back out front. Let's go ahead and give him the amulet coin. And you can make us a little bit of moolah. We've still got a team of six. It's okay. It's okay. I can deal with I can deal with it. It's fine. We need to get some more great balls, I think we yep. We need more great balls. Let's scoop up some great balls, and we need some super potions. We're scooping up some super potions. No, I believe, I believe we go ahead and we make our way to the new new route for a new encounter. I'm pretty sure. I forget why I stopped here. Uh, uh, yeah, I have no idea why I stopped there. No idea whatsoever. But, yes. We can get a new encounter in this episode. I, I don't know why I keep thinking about it. I, I have no idea. I have no idea. But then I remember the item down the... I, I just look... just, uh, just I didn't like her to begin with. Now I like her even less. I'm like, wait, yeah, I am. Scoop that bad boy up. Scoop that bad boy up. Alright, let's head up. And I'm like, okay, let's check out down first. Right. There's two entrances to the cave. Not sure which one it was to go all the way through. I. We have a venom off. I'm like, okay. There's a venom off. Oh, and that reminded me. So, as you can see, all our Pokemon gain levels, and that was because we did do grinding. But I didn't want to add grinding montage with music and everything in an episode with no no vocal audio in. So we did grind. I didn't see any point adding that. I will add it to. We have. Wait, no, that's spoilers. Never mind, never mind, never mind. We do a little bit of switch training with old Gabriella. Gabriella grows to level 19. We're like, right, cool. We can do this. We can train him up. We, we can go for another slog of grinding them all up. Actually, there's only Gabriella that needs the level, so we don't need a grinding montage for Gabriella. We find a tiny mushroom. And I remembered something there, and I can't remember. Oh, that's what I was telling you guys. So, in the grinding montage itself, I'm like, I think Carter, uh, Gabriella might be able to take this on. So I think I give him a chance to. Yes, I do. And I think he actually pulls it off, which is quite nice. But, in the grinding montage that didn't happen, didn't see, there was actually... Ampharos in the yellow flowers. We could have got an Ampharos. Because don't forget, guys, we have the Ampharos eye. Like, <sighs> we could have had a mega Ampharos on the team. I would have. Oh, I would have gone nuts. Who did we get here instead? Adam. Adam's dead. 
Adam's dead. Sad times. Sad times. All right. So I think we have. Oh my! Oh my God! Just let me out the grass. And it's a horde. I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Not doing it. Nope. I cough and die a little bit. So that's probably a good thing. You can't hear me dying. But I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Leave me alone, horde. Leave me alone. Uh, now the last blade of grass, the horde comes back. It's like, leave me alone, horde. Leave me alone. I'm I'm not battling you all. Nope, not happening. Leave me alone. Go away. Go away. Fuck me. So, we check out the bottom first. I'm like, right, we can't get a new encounter here. Zubat Roost, Connecting Cave, and I'm like, hang on, hang on. I'm like, nah, 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 this ain't the way. This is the way all the way through. So I want to check out the other path, the other entrance to the cave first. So we head on up. And survey says, we're just looking for hidden items. And we also said if any Pokemon jumps down from the ceiling, we will not count them as our encounter because for some reason we can't randomize them. But there's trainers in here to battle. Which I didn't actually know. So that's kind of cool. Which is fine because Gabriella can get some nice training. But that right there is a whole goddamn crustal. That is a big old crustal. And I'm like, alright, switch out. Switch out. Gabriella can't handle that. And I'm thinking. Who actually can? Who actually can handle him? Because it's kind of like, ah. I forget who I go out to. Do I go to... I can't go out to Beth because... Crustle's rock typing. So I think we just go to a starter. A standing starter. Amadou. And I was talking about how I can see that black bit in my green screen showing. So I moved it slightly. Little did I not realise that it's been there the entire friggin' episode. Well, pretty much the entire episode. We go ahead and go for that mud slap. We try to reduce that accuracy. And he didn't realise he's going for a withdrawal. And I'm like, ah, this is going to be a long one. I'm like, should I just go for power gym? Let's just go for power gym. we quick club. Bop. We're quick club. Bop. We hit that power gem, and it's because it's special. That was damage. That was some serious damage. Like dust ox, I'm at you know what? Dust ox, dust ox, dust ox. Do I decide? I was thinking, do I carry on switch training Gabriella? In the end, I decided, you know what? Let's just go out to Helena. Let's just go out to Helena. It's fine. I don't know, can go for that smack down all up on the floor. Get down on the floor, smack down. You need some more smack down. Oh, well. And down, down, down. Pick him up, he's falling. Next up is Yammer. I'm like, why is it all bug types? This year, this trainer has all bug types. It must have been like something that happened because it's just, just weird, man. All the trainers have a sp for this episode anyway I don't think I noticed it in the future episodes but for this episode all the trainers have a specific type so if we come across like what, what type would body us a strong water type would call, give us some problem yeah bug type look genesect I'm like ah oh, that's a genesect I'm like do I switch train Gabriella or for this and that's what I was thinking, because Gabriella would gain some crazy good experience for battling, getting, taking out, sorry, the Egg Genesect. Do I switch training? I'm contemplating it. I think I decide balls to the walls, let's go. Balls to the walls, let's go. The Genesect comes out, we're like, we can't bet take him on that. That would, that would be madness, right? That would be madness. Yeah, let's switch it up. We're back to Helena. 
back to Helena Budet. Budet. Goes for that lock, and I'm like, oh my god, what is he going for? What has he got in his back pocket? You go for that smackdown. He uses flame charge. What a fool of a took. What an absolute fool. Hit that smackdown. I think it's a two hit, no, three hit KO. I was like, all right, this is why you're a legendary. Super effective moves are three hit KO. I think he reveals one more move, and I was trying to work out what his fourth move would be. I still have no idea. So lock on flame charge is new meta. That is the bottom line. Genesis goes down, we're getting a really decent amount of experience. Yeah, a thousand. Gabriella goes to level 20, and we defeated Lumios gang member Mercy. Because we showed no mercy. Showed no mercy whatsoever. I think we talked to this geezer. It's crazy we had no Pokemon coming. Hmm. If you want to head back to Amber, it's on your best book. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I won't read that. Whatever, man. And this is our first encounter in this cave. And it is... A Stantler. Safe to say... Weren't too excited about a Stantler. So I think... Okay. Just a stamina. Let's go for a faint attack. See how much damage we can get done with a faint attack. And it wasn't much at all. So I was like, alright. We can go for one more. We can go for another one. Okay. I'm like, I don't think I can go for a third faint attack. But we should be able to go for a fury swipes. Because in my head I just think fury swipes weaker than faint attack. I forgot about stab. I forgot about how many times it can hit. And unfortunately, this happens. We killed our encounter. So, Gabri I think Gabriella knew that the Stantler might replace him. But I did tell him. I told him. I told her. It, it's not here to replace you. you. You don't need to kill our encounter. Don't need that to kill our encounter. He's not here to replace you. We was not going to replace you with a Stantler. Rather an Arserine than a Stantler. God damn it. So I'm like, okay, let's head back and heal. Let's back, head back and heal up our Pokemans. Because this... Before we head further, I'm like, whoa. Why did I pray? I don't remember where I prayed. I don't know. I don't know. But... I went out on the way, on the way, I thought, let's check out our berry farm. And I heard something. I could hear something. There's something, some, there was a Pokemon. There was a Pokemon, which is the whole reason why we did the berry farm, was to get the encounter of the berry. And I'm like, there's an encounter here. Why can't I see the bush? Where is the bush? None of these bushes are shaky to shake, 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 shake it. Shake, 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 shake it. And then I see it. That far left one is shaking his ass. But we're going to go ahead and save that for the next episode. So if you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please go ahead and like, comment, share and subscribe. Help me in helping the Jigsaw pieces grow. I've been Jamie Jigsaw and I'll see you guys next time. Next time on Pokemon X, randomized Nuzlocke, we get our berry encounter. We harvest some berries and we catch a new Pokemon.